Scarlet, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. This is your tarot and oracle reading for your mid-September love check-in. So let's dive straight into it. You have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. I don't know why. The first thing that just popped into my mind is someone maybe having a little bit of a crush on a platonic friend. Um, it happens sometimes, you know? Uh, so there is that. But also, like... If any of you are single as a Pringle <laughs> and there's like literally nothing going on, uh, some of your friends may be hooking you up with somebody or um, suggesting that you meet maybe one of their other friends that they feel like you might be compatible with. Or even if it's in your relationship, if you're going through, if you're already in a long-term relationship, you're going through some challenges within that relationship, your friends are really helping you out in some way. Uh, this month is definitely asking you to prioritize platonic love uh, because platonic love is like the backbone of happiness I feel honestly like I don't understand how so many people they just find their their person their romantic partner and have a family and then they just like say F it to all other friendships like we really need that community it is abnormal it is not natural to try to raise a family or even like whatever you're raising, whether it's a business or a family or anything, it, it's so unnatural to be doing that all by yourself or maybe with just one other person. You know, it's much more natural to have a community, a support of people around you for the tough times as well as the, the good times. And you're being asked to really pour energy into those platonic relationships. Some of you, if you don't even feel like you have that sense of community in your life, this may be you going out and seeking that, which is a good idea. And then we have the waning moon. What do you need to release? Beautiful. What do you need to let go of? What is holding you back? Mm. We're going to get some tarot and maybe further clarify this waning moon message, but uh, there could be, you know, old sort of connections that you're letting go of that you, you don't need to carry on with. Another thing that I'm seeing here, Gemini, uh, there could be projects completed, things completed in your life um, that sort of clears the air up a little bit and makes more space for you to just focus on, on love and whatever it is that you're wanting to focus on. So first card out is the Fool. This is a beautiful, positive, optimistic energy. There is certainly new developments happening for you in your love life at this time. Um, this could even be like new people coming in or I don't know why I'm seeing the start of something. Some, some of you may be like starting up a new class or joining a group or some sort of community to make more friends and that could definitely be symbolized here as well because again it's like trying to expand your personal community you know if you were to throw a party how many people would be able to show up for you maybe you're wanting more people to show up you know and you're definitely going out and expanding upon that this month we have the ace of wands in reverse <laughs> you know the the phrase use it or lose it just came into my mind, you know, if, if you haven't been like sexually active in a long time, uh, you may feel like you've sort of gotten out of touch with that sort of carnal desire that you once felt. Maybe it's just one of those seasons in your life where you're just not feeling that as much. But you know, the funny thing is like, if you find somebody that you're really attracted to emotionally and physically, um, and you start seeing them regularly, I feel like you could easily... <laughs> um sort of spice up that area of life once again so that's an interesting message and uh we have the seven of pentacles coming out in reverse as well yeah working hard you've been working really hard either like on your goals your career your projects etc it feels like you've had a lot of responsibility and that's what i'm saying with the waning moon coming out like you may be finishing up a lot of projects goals ideas etc like you might be at the the final steps of like an educational course or the final steps so you're releasing something to the world like a big project or something that you've been working on and uh it'll just free up a lot of time for you is what i'm seeing so you may be completing that this month and then we have the nine of cups in reverse here yeah you might not be 100 percent content and fulfilled as an individual and that's what i'm saying like this could be because you need to spend more time with friends and community or create more of that within yourself. So I would highly recommend doing that. 
we have the Ace of Swords in reverse right underneath that Ace of Wands in reverse, which is so interesting. I feel like there is a new future unfolding for you in romance, in love, uh, a new future path that you'll be taking with a divine, a, a blessed soulmate, if you will. Um, but this is not going to come in until you really, A, open yourself up to it, uh, B, maybe finish out some projects in your life, you know, clear out some old cobwebs, some old energies, and uh, C, create a strong sense of community and balance for yourself. And then we, f wow, we finish off with the Four of Wands, which is such a great card for commitment, for love, for celebrating love. I definitely feel like there is um, something to be celebrating by the end of September when it comes to your romantic life. And the Four of Wands is literally a long, long-term love card. So I wouldn't be shocked. We start with the Fool and we end with the Four of Wands. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if, for example, you meet somebody or you're warming up to somebody who has a lot of potential to be something more long-term in your life this month. Um, and also beyond romance, you know, this is just a love reading. I feel like this is a strong month to focus on platonic connections. Uh, and really build up your sense of personal community. And it's funny that we asked that question, if you were to throw a party, who would you invite? Because this literally does show throwing parties, weddings, housewarming parties, celebrations. And you know, we should celebrate different areas of life that aren't normally celebrated. Like if somebody finishes a huge like business project, you know, throw a party over it. Who's gonna show up for you though? That's my question. Like, and that's why I'm saying like, this may be a strong time for you to really focus on building platonic relationships, platonic connections, as opposed to just romantic ones. Very, very beautiful. Although if you do want romantic ones, uh, they are showing up here. If you're a single as a Pringle, not talking to anybody, through your platonic connections, you may be led to a soulmate, okay? And it doesn't mean that one of your friends will turn into a soulmate. It could mean that, but you know, focus on building friends, friendships, you're going to meet their people. They're going to meet your people. Some of their people might be your soulmates. Okay. Network. Thank you so much for joining me, Gemini. Definitely watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, especially your Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this love message. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my intention oils there and spiritual life coaching sessions there. So check it out. Bye-bye.